In this lecture, we are going to learn how we can create our own header file that is the file ending with the dot h extension we have already used some of the header files like stdio.h math.h similarly if we can create our own header file we will be able to reuse our functions again and again in our multiple programs okay so let's take an example of this factorial function this is a program to find the factorial of a number okay so this is a recursive factorial function defined here and this is the main function in the main function i'm actually calling this factorial function and then i'm getting the answer let's try to quickly compile this first and then see if it works fine okay so this is compiled successfully and if i write 5 5 factorial is 120 i get the correct answer now i've done a function here to find the factorial of a number now this function can be used or called as many times as i want in this program but what if i want to use the same function in my multiple programs let's say i'll have to use this function factorial many times while i'm programming in my many of my program files i'll have to use this factorial function in that case it would be a good idea if we can include this factorial function in a separate header file ending with the dot h extension so first thing first we'll have to create a header file okay so i'll go to my uh, vs code here and then create a new file i'll just write this file name as fact dot h remember the header file will end with the dot h extension okay now in the header file generally we do not define the function we only do the declarations declaration of the functions we do some inline functions macros and all those things in the header file and we create a separate library file for defining our functions but we are not going to go into that details i just wanted to demonstrate how header file really works okay so we are going to define the factorial function in the header file itself okay but it is not a good practice so let's try to define it here so if i have to define the function to find the factorial of a number i've already done it here right this is the function to find the factorial of a number i can just cut this i'm just remove this from here and then copy it here in the factorial function so this is a function to find the factorial of a number okay it takes one integer argument n i'm going to find the factorial of n returns the uh, factorial of a number that is also an integer i'm using a recursive function to achieve the factorial of a number fine so i did not include any header files here because i have not not using any other uh, like printf and scanf here so header files is not needed here okay so just this is a function to find out the factorial of a number okay so this is done so once this is done now in my main program okay in my main program i'll have to include my header file fact.h okay so how do i include a header file i have to write has include now this header file is a user defined header file and it's available in the same folder where the main function is residing right so this is my main file fact main.c wherein i am actually making a call to this factorial function and this factorial function is defined in this fact.h to include this file i can use has include and i do not use the angular bracket angular bracket if you use it will search the header file in the standard library uh, directory there's a standard directory wherein all your library files and header files are existing in uh, nec installation right but i'm actually using my own header file so i'll use double quotes to give the file name so my file name is fact.h okay so this is how i include my own header file that is available in the current folder okay so this will actually uh, include the header file fact.h okay now if i don't have this header file let's say i i just comment this header file and try to execute this code now let's see what happens gcc fact main.c okay you see it says that factorial function is not recognized it's giving me an error here right but if i just remove this comment i'm including the header file fact.h now let's see what happens now it's perfectly fine okay it's perfectly fine i can just run this and i write 5 i get the 5 factorial as 120 it works fine okay so this is how you actually include the header file and this is how you define the function inside the header file okay now the best part here is once you have created your header file fact.h you can reuse this function as many times as you want in as many programs as you want just by including this header file fact.h you will be able to access the function available in fact.h i just have one function here i can have multiple functions defined in this header file okay so you can access this and then that makes your job a lot of easier and it actually promotes reusability of your code right you write the code once and reuse it as many times as you want that is what is being promoted by the 
header file, right? So that's why we use math.h header file for finding the square root of a number. We did not write our own function to find the square root of a number. Uh, we can just call sqrt function by including the math.h header file. That is the standard header file available in the standard library. This is our own header file, fact.h. We have defined it on our own. Okay, this is how you define the header file. This is how you can include it and this is how you can make a function call to the function that is available in the header file okay now let's try to demonstrate this program further okay let's try to run this let's try to find 12 factorial right 12 factorial is 47900 this is the 12 factorial 1600 right this is correct now let's try to find out 13 factorial if i give 13 as the input i get the answer as 1932053 which is not the correct answer the actual 13 factorial is this one that is 6227020800 right so something must be wrong so what is wrong here is very simple because i am actually returning the integer value as the factorial of a number as in when n becomes larger and larger factorial will be more larger right like for example 13 factorial is 6227020800 which will not be accommodated by the integer like if you see the upper limit of integer it is only 21474836478 cannot go beyond this right so if you see this number is beyond this number okay so integer can't accommodate finding the factorial of 13 similarly if you try unsigned int also unsigned int is also not be able to accommodate 13 factorial okay so maybe we can go for long 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 has a upper limit a very big upper limit or you can also go for unsigned long long okay it has greater upper limit so we can replace this we can change this factorial dot h the written type let, let's make it as long long okay so i just written the long long value and in the main function i while printing it i'll have to print it as long long integer ll d is the format specifier for long long okay now you try to find it out you see uh, let's try to compile this okay let's try to now find 13 factorial now see we get the correct answer that is 6227020800 which has been displayed here okay so it's always better to give the appropriate data types whenever you are working with larger numbers okay so i hope in this lecture you have learned how to create a header file on your own how to define a function inside the header file and how to call the function that is being defined in the header file from some other file okay so that's all in this lecture stay tuned